good afternoon. I'm not sure why I'm doing this at this moment because it's really hot. But I feel like some quick and sweet stretch of my lower body and also some of, some of heart openers. I just feel like um, it's, it's in the middle of the afternoon. I feel like a siesta, but I don't want to. I want some energy boosters. So here I am on my beautiful terrace feeling like moving a little bit but it's a quick one because I don't want to stay in the sun for too long it's really hot all right so and uh, there's another um, message that so this flow today is probably gonna be it's not progress it is the last flow um, I'm gonna shoot before I start traveling to China and some of you might know that I am going back to China to this time to bring my doggies, my families uh, here in Parma to live with me. Um, so my trip is gonna, um, my trip is coming in two days. So yeah, I will be really missing this terrace for one month or so. And I will be back here in July, beginning of July. And yeah, so I cannot wait to see my families and my doggies. It's almost been a year, almost, since last September. So yeah, it will be good to meet with my family and spend some time with them and eventually bring my babies here. And in the future, I'm gonna do doga flows <laughs> instead of yoga flows. <gasps> Finally, I'm gonna have doga flows. <laughs> I miss my babies when I do my yoga. I miss them around, sniffing around, cuddling around when I'm on my mat. So, yes. This probably be the last flow you are seeing me alone on my mat. And uh, from the next one onwards, maybe my baby's gonna join us. <laughs> okay, thank you for listening to my blah blah blah. Beginning of this flow. Now let's get back to our flow. So we will be standing um, at, the back, at the back of our mat. I'll see you there. Okay, so just some wiggles, set in. Be ready for this sweet flow. Deep breaths in and out. Mm. Feel into the body. Keep both knees generously bent. Because we are going to fold down. So I don't want you to over strain your hamstring. Just be really mindful. Take a big inhale and bend. Stick the hips out backwards and bend at your hips. Keep the knees really, really bent. And just slowly bend down, bend down. Like keep your hands on your sides and on your knees and on your shins and slide them down until they can touch the floor. Place your palms firmly into the mat, not to fingertips, but your palms um, to the mat. Keep the knees bent and stick the tailbone out. Thank God my tailbone is back to normal so I can stick it out. <laughs> okay, so we'll just have some wiggles here. Keep the knees really bent here. And keep the upper body like a cobra shape. So it's like a half lift in the forward fold. Elbows externally rotate and rotate your shoulders as well so that you feel like your chest has been pulled out in front. And from here, if you can, just do whatever your body is telling you to do. Just from this wiggle, slowly straighten your knees. See how much they can. 
don't overdo it. Please just listen to your body, okay? I did some circuit training yesterday and I really feel like there's some lower body stretch because we did a lot of jumps and a lot of lunges. So be good that just stretch some of my lower body. But be really mindful. Keep your legs straightened, like this, and generously straightened. Your palms still face, still pressing through the mat, and your upper body is forming a cobra. Take a big inhale, exhale here. Keep in this position just for the next five breaths. Little by little, straightening your legs. See how far they can go. Just stay at the, at the as much as you can and just stay there. Mm. Feel the stretch of your hamstrings from your glutes to the heel of your feet. Mm. Two breaths in and the arm. Feel the belly is um, like pressing through your sides. When you take inhale, and when you take the exhale, feel the belly is leaving your sides. Okay, last breath. Let's just come into a full width. Reach the crown of your head into four this hand oh, I really 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 love it. super super I'll do this just for no reason like in the kitchen maybe I cook and I spend some time staying there packing vegetables and stuff and I will just do it for the boat to release any tension by spending too much in the kitchen Mm. And slowly keep your knees bent and round your back and your body and very lazy lift yourself up into center and feel at this moment feel the differences already versus the beginning of our classes beginning of our class today mm. and step forward with the left foot or right just make sure that you face the laptop or the TV face me I bring my left foot out and bring it like a big step forward and and come into a wide leg standing pose from here bring the hands on your on your waist take a big inhale open up the chest and exhale, forward fold, wide leg, forward fold. Okay. Keep the knees bent if you feel too much tension on your hamstrings. Until you come into a total fold, bring the hands underneath your gaze and lift your body. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold round upper body, exhale forward. Hold up. Four more times like this, inhale, cobra, still forward, forward, one more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, and this time when you exhale, bring the forearms um to the floor see if you can you can also keep the knees bent a little bit to bring the floor closer to your body also you can bring two um, blocks yoga blocks underneath your gaze to just bring the floor closer to you so your choices you just come into the forward fold bring the forehead in between the arms or on top of your um, hand you just can hold your forehead so do whatever to support your forehead um, to your arms and hands. 
if it, the stance a little bit wider so that you can bring your forehead to rest on your arms. Mm. I feel like the sun is really burning my bounds. <laughs> Mm. Mm. And gently inhale, lift yourself up one more time. And exhale, bring the feet closer to each other until they are a little bit wider than hip distance and bring the toes out, hips in, and into a beauty squat. <sighs> and sit yourself down <laughs> that is so hot <laughs> somebody is really here so bring the legs a little bit wider in front of you keep your spine tall and bring the hands a little bit back in the back and Open the chest up, okay? Don't run the back. Open the chest up and just windshield wiper the legs. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's burning. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna do it quick. <laughs> and come to twist to the left. Bring the right hand all the way behind you. And we just come into a twist to the left. And then shift yourself to face the left side of the mat. Keep the legs in this um, twist. And we'll just come into a lazy half pigeon, okay? So it's not an active pigeon, but this is also a very good hip opening pose. You can feel the deep stretch of the hips. So the legs are like more like 90 degrees, 90 degrees and 90 degrees, 90 degrees, okay? So just keep the legs where they are. Your upper body can be lifted or can be on the mat. It's too hot for me, seriously. I don't know why I choose this timing to do this flow, but it's really good, you know? Like some of my friends are really, really love to stay in the sun, like they can stay there for hours on the beach. They can barely stay for five minutes, really. But it's really good, you know, to be stronger. And then, if you feel like, okay, we'll come into an active half pigeon, tuck the, tuck the right foot and lift yourself up with your hand and bring your hip square to face forward. And just Adjust with your right leg until yourself, your hip is squared. I mean, to a slightly back bend as well. Just feel this stretch of the right in the groins, right hip flexor. Inhale, open the chest toward the sky, a little bit of heart opener. Exhale, bring yourself down. Branch it out. <sighs> so maybe when I come back, I will have to think about doing early morning flows or evening flows because during the day it's too hot. Okay, lift yourself up. Take one. Inhale. So release and come back into center. Keep the feet wide, and we just windshield wiper left and right, left and right, until we twist to the right. <sighs> mm. Make sure you bring the knees down onto the mat. And we'll come to twist to the right. Bring the left hand behind you. 
When I come back, I also need to grow some vegetables for my beautiful turtles. Yes. Right. Okay, let's move on and adjust ourselves a little bit. Come into a lazy pigeon, cup pigeon, in the hand towards the um, back of the mat. You just feel the stretch of this hip opening here. You don't have to really uh, stress your body to, you know, like uh, press, press and stretch. In this position is really just a passive stretch. Let the gravity, let the, this pose help you feel the opening. yourself up and square of your head to face forward and adjust with the left leg and come into a slight leg bend the active half pigeon oh, oh I feel so good with the stretch of my left hip flexor hmm. this is really good for a lot of runners and joggers and hikers and basically all your sports lovers. <laughs> and just bring your body down. Feel the stretch on your right outer hip. Okay, lift yourself up, come back into center. We'll bring the soles of our feet together into a sitting butterfly pose. Doesn't matter where you place your feet, a little bit far away or a little bit closer. So the range of motion is different. So the stretch, the sensations are a little bit different. Just adjust according to your own body feelings. Take a big inhale, open the chest and round over or stay up and tall whatever you feel like just place your elbows onto your feet or onto the floor or onto the blocks rest your chain on your hands feel the opening of your hips This pose is so sweet, you know, you gave so much love to your hips. This is area is always very neglected and this always is the area which where it's stored with a lot of our tensions and daily stress. So you need it to stretch and open it daily, seriously, to let the negativities out. All right, just lift yourself up to center. Come into a kneeling position at all in the back of our mat. With the knees slightly open and close to you. Okay. We sat here. Take a big inhale. Lift the hands up, 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 and fold them like this, okay? One hand on top of another, doesn't matter. So my left is on top of my right. Bring them over your head and bend your elbows and bring them onto the shoulder blades. Just try to touch the, sh the between the shoulder blades area and lift the elbows up toward the sky open up the chest bring the shoulders down and lift the elbows up press the hands on top of your shoulder blades in between your shoulder blades and place the head back against the head arms and arms back against the head feel the opening of your ribcage 
of your chest, of your diaphragm. And release. Excellent. Release. We just do one at hand with another hand on top of another. <laughs> the other way around. Reset. Inhale. Mm. And now to the right on top of the left and place the back in between the shoulder blades. Bring the elbows towards the sky and bring the shoulders down. Bring the head against the arms and arms against the head. Bring the plate backward. And release. Mm. Now, Come onto our knees, or our shins. We'll just do a little bit more, uh, bigger range of motion of the hat opener, camel pose. So, first of all, we'll just put the hands on our lower back, okay? Just to, for a little bit of support. Where your hips don't, um, um, like, don't start with a back bend. Just square off them. The tailbone in. Face forward. Square off the hips. Hands on the lower back. Support. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Gently push your hips forward. Hips pushing forward, forward, forward. And chest lift up. Up like someone is lifting your chest up, 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 up. Tuck your chin into your chest. Breathe here. And gently push the hips back. Come down, hips on your heels. Rest. We go a little bit of the spine just to loosen up any tension by doing this back bend poses. One more time, the actual camel pose, okay? <laughs> Inhale, come on to your shins. Take a big inhale, exhale, bring the hands on top of your heels. You can also tuck your, uh, your feet. Whatever you, you need, or you keep doing this supported camel pose, but this time try to throw your head back and open your throat towards the sky. Whichever you choose, keep breathing. Push the hips forward. Open the chest up towards the sky. Big slowly rotate the shoulders. Slowly the head back. Ah. Come back to center. Keep the hands on the lower back for support. And gently rest your hips on your heels and come into a child's pose. Bring your forehead down onto the mat. Come to a balance pose of the back bend. Mm -hmm. From here, bring the hands forward in front of you. And we'll just wave around, okay? From child's pose to cat pose and to cow pose and to back to child's pose. Keep the breath in, um, breathing work. And also keep the, for, uh, the poses, the forms of the poses. Just let the breath lead the poses, okay? Take a big inhale, round your back. Lift yourself up. Round, round, round until you come into a cat pose. 
and exhale. Bring, um, bring the uh, sit bones up, belly down towards the mat, and inhale, cow pose. Lift yourself up and open the chest, and exhale, bring the hips back, child's pose. So a little bit faster and more smooth. Breath work as well. Inhale, lift yourself up. Inhale, cow, and exhale, bring the hips back. Three more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Pace. And the last one will come a little forward of our shoulders, come a little forward of our wrist, and dip the hip down, kind of like a high cobra. Okay, and also a little bit back then. And inhale, lift the hips up, exhale, bring it back. Two more times like this. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Bring it back. Last one. Inhale. Up forward, forward, forward. Oh, shoulders over the wrist. Hit the hips. Now we'll stay here in this high cobra. Like pinch the glutes in and tight. Press the pubic uh, bone down into the mat. And gently round yourself down. We'll come into fully rest our body onto the mat. And from here, we we'll just come into a squeeze pose. Bring the um, forearms onto the mat. Slightly open the chest towards front. Is here. So good. And now a little challenge, okay? Yeah, it is a lazy one, but it's just a little challenge here. So lift your hips off the floor, tap the toes first, and lift the hips off the floor. We'll come into a forearm plank. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and lift your hips up towards the sky like a downward facing dog, and walk your feet towards your arms until they cannot anymore. Keep your hips toward, uh, uh, pointing towards the sky. Keep your knees bent to help with this pose. And when you walk close enough, Stay there and try to press down through your heels while maintaining the hips towards the sky. So you can feel this more intense stretch on your hamstrings. If you can rest your forehead onto the mat, it's also fine. Keep the knees slightly bent to protect the hamstrings. And we'll work it back into a full arm strength again. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Knees up to the mat and bring the hips back to the child's pose. Mm. Now lift yourself up and we'll just come into a um, lying position with face up. <laughs> come to lay down on your back. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> okay, so I'll just skip the constructive 
best pose because I don't want to get burned. <laughs> okay. If you are at home, you can pause the video here. I just rest in this constructive pose. And the feet wide and knees touching each other. It's very historical. Okay, all right. So for those of you who don't want to rest here, just take a big inhale and bring the feet off the mat. Bring your knees close to your chest and lift your knees off the floor. Use your hand to support and a little bit of momentum and a little bit of your core strength. Lift the glutes up, up, up towards the sky and bring the legs and feet all the way behind your head. Plow pose. Bring the, um, just pointing your hips all the way towards the sky. Interlock you your fingers behind you. Oh, so, so hot this floor. So I don't even want to touch my toes onto the floor. Oh. <laughs> I definitely do flows in the evening or in the early morning. When I come back in July it's gonna be hotter. Oh. Add a little bit of a heart opening. We will also do a little bit of rounding and rounding. And now, gently bend the knees. Bring your hip and uh, your uh, heels closer to your feet. And very carefully roll yourself back. Rest your lower back onto the mat and bring your feet onto the floor. I wanted to do a shoulder stand, but I hurt my back um, these days. So it's still a little bit painful when I do the uh, shoulder stand. So I'll just skip that pose. And we'll just do a little bit of twisting here from the supine positions. Okay, you can keep your arms extended in T-shape or cactus. It's too hot for me, so I'll just bring the arms on top of my face <laughs> to cover the sun. So wind show wiper like we did when we were sitting side to side. It's so that means super soothing this wind show wiper and very good for your lower back and very good for your hips. Opening the hips and massaging the lower back. Now let's come to one side. Bring both knees down. For a little bit of extra tension, you can place left foot on top of the right knee. So I'm twisting towards the left, so the left foot on top of the right knee, just to keep a little bit more uh, twisting here. back to center. So just windshield wiper a little bit more. Finally we'll come to the right side. For a little bit of extra twisting, place the left foot on top of your left knee, outer left knee. Wow, that's good to work through. Back to center. Really warm. My face is all wet. <laughs> it's very good, also. A lot of white body. <laughs> all right, just sit yourself up. We're closing today's flow. You can also stay, keep staying there in Shavasana or resting or falling asleep. <laughs> the rest of you will want to close this with me. Okay, let's come to sit. Easy pose. Mm. Hands on top of your thighs and knees. Palm facing up. Happy and content. Hands together at heart center. Bow down to yourself. 
Thank you for coming, taking out this time to flow with me. I hope you enjoy this flow and thank yourself first, you know, to take good care of your body. Um, yes, so I hope you enjoy today's flow. Today's um, quick and short and sweet um, afternoon flow, hot afternoon flow. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in my next flow in my beautiful city, my hometown. This is my babies. <laughs>